Okay, today we're going to talk about the servo press kit. Servo press kit from Festo basically combines a motor controller with a axis and motor assembly and is used to uh, press something. The, uh, the first step in the process is to place an order and configure it. So we're going to go to the Festo website here. Um, type in www.festo.com and go to the products tab. And for this particular product from Festo, go to the function specific systems. And at this point right here, joining technology, um, first step is to download this documentation. So just click on this and download this. This gives you this file right here. Um, and if you come into this page right here, the part number, the starting part number is right here. You can copy that, 807-7950. And if you go to here, you can you can continue to click here and uh, click right here if you want. Click it a couple times, and then it comes to brings you to the configurator. Alternatively, if you paste that part number into the to the website here, hit search, it'll take you to the configurator. And at this point, you are understanding what your application is, so you have the specification that you need. Um, when you're in the configurator here, it's, it's helpful at times to have this document open. Um, what, uh, what this document immediately shows you here is what's included in the scope of delivery. So you get the, the, the force sensor, you get uh, servo motor, Act parallel kit or axial kit, depending on what you choose, and the, uh, the SBF axis. You, you get a controller, a motor controller, some cables, and a memory card. Uh, the memory cards where everything's stored program-wise. And then you can get accessories down here. The configurator is quite nice. It uh, allows the user some understanding when they're choosing here. So if you click on this information, uh, thing here it uh, provides additional information so in case you don't have this manual open but so you go through here I'm just going to select some some things just for sake of showing you um, hit OK uh, my st stroke is 400 uh, you pick the parallel or axial kit as we discussed right here uh, either set up like this or straight which is axial set setup and uh, the uh, encoder is, you know, I have a single turn in my case. I'm not using a holding brake. Um, again, you can keep going through here and uh, understanding is provided via the, the eye. Um, optional software, this is very important. The, uh, this basically determines uh, the, the, the functionality of the servo press. And uh, this is really important to understand because it's called a servo press. Um, but if you if you go for the uh, the basic software package, which it says is included, okay, it, um, you get what they refer to as force monitoring. So the the um, the force sensor that's on the axis. Uh, will provide a force feedback to this, the control system. It doesn't close the loop on force. It's it's just reading the force, and you set up variants or windows of monitoring, and if it veers outside of that, then you uh, can set up some flags and so on and so forth. If you actually want to control the amount of force, close the loop on it, or uh, so... Basically, you're in torque mode. So go, going back to the basic version, you're basically force monitoring, and the controller itself is in position mode. Um, when you're in uh, the advanced package here, which is the software extension package, and you say yes, 
then you have force control, and at that point, the actual con servo controller is in torque mode. Um, so it's really important to understand that. So I'm going to select yes because I have the optional package. Um, and just continue down the road here. So cable length, how far is the uh, um, controller from the servo controller? And your pre-assembly, whether you wanted to have it assembled or not. I don't feel like assembling it. This this picture right here is very helpful. Uh, my motor is to the left compared to where the, the axis is here. So I'm going to pick number three, which is the left. And this alignment of the servo motor right here just means which way are the, uh, the cables coming out of the motor. In which case, um, I'm again left. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do it right because if I was right, then the cables would be coming up into the axle. Okay, that's why you have this little thing here. So on the left. And continue. And by the way, this configurator here, at any time you can click on show. And it'll provide you the C number based upon what you've configured so far. You can also take this, if you have a, pre-existing order and you have the C number, you can come up to the top here and you can type this in right here and away you go. Um, and I'll do that right now. So I've, my my entire product here is a C174802. And if I hit enter, it should update everything. And if I go back to where I was, I had profile mounting. So that's the, the difference I didn't finish. And uh, at that point, you add to the basket. Okay, so the uh, profile mounting, the guide unit. Uh, the guide unit here could, could use a little bit of information, but the, the manual here shows you here that the guide unit is this right here. Uh, I think it's F-E-N-G, they call it. Uh, the profile mounting, the flange mounting clamp. Uh, they should have these pictures in there, but... Uh, you know, they did a good job otherwise the uh, you know same here so so now you've re you've you've ordered the product okay the next step is delivery so you get the parts and you now need to assemble them and put them into your system uh, you basically get a box of parts 